Hi guys, it's Sage. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, I'm Sage and I would love for you to subscribe. So make sure sub subscribe. Click the notification bell so you guys can get notified every time I upload. Follow me on Instagram at Sage Lusher so you guys can get a closer look into my life. I shout you guys out occasionally and mention you guys in my videos. So make sure you follow me on Instagram so you guys can get a chance to be featured in my videos. So today's video is definitely more serious. I like to keep things lighthearted on my channel, but I have been getting so many questions and concerns about this topic and this story that happened in my life. So I thought I would sit down and share it with you guys. So this happened my freshman year in college. I just finished my freshman year and this happened right before Thanksgiving. It happened on a Friday night and then that next week it was Thanksgiving break. There were two other people in the car but I'm not going to mention their names or anything. That night we were going to go out and hang out with people, have fun that night but it obviously took a turn for the worst. So one of the girls was going to the airport because she had a flight to catch and me and the other girl thought we would just drive her to the airport, say goodbye, whatever, get food before. So that's what we did. Probably around six o'clock and we drove to go get some food and then from there take her to the airport. It was dark out, there was no sun because it was later in the day, night I guess, and we're just driving. I was in the back seat on the right side and then the two girls in front. So we're driving, it's pitch black out, and something that, I don't know if you guys know, but in North Carolina, this was High Point Greensboro area, there's really no like street lights in like the side streets and stuff, cause it's just not a lot around. So there was really no lights, so it was really dark. I don't know what, I was really thinking but in the back of my mind like I really wasn't thinking it but maybe it was in like my subconscious I don't know how to explain it but I just knew that something was gonna be off or wrong but I just felt it almost I don't know how to explain we're driving and it's probably around seven o'clock now and there was a black truck in front of us and we're listening to music talking whatever mind you i was in the back so i really didn't know what was going on in my surroundings we're driving and it came to like an intersection with a stop sign so it was like you know i don't know really what happened besides we ran through the stop sign in that moment i just remember the driver screaming and then we smashed into a car. If you guys have ever been in a car accident, God forbid that ever happens to you guys, you can like feel it and hear it still. It's horrible. But I remember her screaming and saying, I just ran the stop sign. And as she said that, we smashed into a car. It was like a movie. Scariest moment in my life. Like I could cry just thinking about it. We smashed into the car, their airbags went off, the whole windshield shattered, and I hit the side of the car and then flew to the side. And there was no airbags in the back, so I didn't really have anything to protect me. But thank God I wore my seatbelt. And when I flew to the other side, I cut my hand and the seatbelt like really tightened, so my whole oh, it was just so bad. After that happening, as it was happening, I was so scared to close my eyes, so I just kept my eyes open through the whole time because I didn't want to pass out or black out. So I remember like hitting everything, watching it all explode and all that stuff, and this car filling with smoke and gas or whatever, and the doors were all not working at all. So the girl in the front, in the passenger side, kicked her door open, and then the other, the driver kicked her door, door open and I climbed through the front. I fell to the ground screaming, like on the top of my lungs screaming because I was in so much pain. Like my whole abdomen, my stomach, my collarbone, everything was just in so much pain. I'm crawling to the side screaming and there was no one around, like absolutely no one because we're in North Carolina, there's nothing there. Someone down, like at a building or something, ran out, called 911 and 
there was a fire truck, ambulance, and police that came. And I remember laying on the side of the road and the girl, I don't know if it was the person that we hit or someone, was screaming at us saying we're such idiots, how stupid and ignorant we are. And I remember I screamed at her, I was like, shut up. She was fine. She was fine because she had a big car. Nothing was wrong with her. She was fine. She just drove off. I remember getting in the ambulance and going to the hospital and you guys are going to laugh. I remember the EMT who, an EMT is like the person in the ambulance. I'm like bawling. I'm like, am I going to be okay? Like I've just been watching like so much Grey's Anatomy. Like I'm so scared. And the EMT was laughing because I literally said, I've been watching too much Grey's Anatomy, like, uh, like freaking out. And so we get to the hospital and of course, because we're not urgent, we had to sit in the waiting room and it was just like building up. Like I was, couldn't breathe, my chest hurt so bad. I go up and I'm like, how much longer? Like it hurts to breathe, I can't breathe. I was in the waiting room for like an hour in so much pain, you guys, like so much pain. Finally, I get checked by someone, like a nurse, and she forgot to like take my blood pressure. So I was like, did you take my blood pressure? Did you take my weight? Did it all this stuff? And she's like, oh yeah, I forgot. So then, once I do all that, my blood pressure was so high, my heart rate was so high because of the amount of stress and trauma I just went through. More time goes by, I finally get into the hospital bed and I see a doctor and I tell her I can't breathe. It hurts so bad to move my abdominal, my ribs, everything is in so much pain, my collarbone. And so I get an x-ray. They only x-ray from the front. That's it. Nowhere on the side, my back, my collarbone, nothing, just like right here. And so everything looked fine. She said that I'm completely fine. I knew I wasn't fine. And also, I forgot to mention, one of the nurses, she asked me what I'm allergic to, all that stuff. I said, I'm allergic to aspirin and codeine. She looks at me, and she goes, no, you're not. What? I go, you don't believe me? You don't believe a patient that I'm allergic to something? You can call my mom. You can call whoever. She didn't believe what I was allergic to. Like, what? I didn't get back to my dorm room till like 2.30, I think, when I woke up. I'm not even exaggerating. I couldn't even cry. That's how badly I was in pain. I couldn't talk. I couldn't move. I couldn't cry. It was so excruciating painful. Since it was about to be Thanksgiving, I was planning on flying um, to Nashville because that's where my mom was throwing our Thanksgiving. So I had to wait a day. I was alone, like the two other girls left. So I was really alone. I had to go get my medicine. I ended up driving to Nashville on a tour bus, but my mom's boyfriend picked me up in his tour bus at campus, guys, a huge tour bus. And I drove, I slept through the night and I got there. I immediately went to a doctor to get another x-ray and she told me I fractured my rib so I did fracture my rib nothing I could do about that um but to just ice it and take it easy she gave me some muscle relaxers which end up really not doing anything I thought I'd be fine and after a little bit I would heal it's not the case it has been probably like almost seven months later and I am in so much pain every single day. I can't sit up, like right now my back hurts. I can't sit up for 10 minutes or more without my back hurting. Um, I can't work out the same. I went to a chiropractor um, and got x-rays. This was probably like a couple months ago. I have now scoliosis on the top of my spine and my back is rotated all the time it always hurts she's always finding new things and i'm still going through treatment um i don't know how much more i have to do i need to see a different doctor i hope that i can feel better hopefully soon because 
I wouldn't wish this on anyone, but that was my story. I know this wasn't the happiest thing I've, I've ever filmed, but you guys have all been concerned and wanting to know about my car accident and that was it. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure you give it a big thumbs up if you guys enjoy and stay tuned for more videos. Bye! Mwah.